Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, we're going to take another new topic that is longitude and latitude. And what you are going to learn first under this main topic is how to write uh, or find the locations of points on the earth's surface. So let's begin. After completing the very lesson today, my dear student, you'll be able to find uh, the location of points on the earth's surface. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as usually, you have ever write a segment of the lesson, Mars is fun today, my dear student, I will give you another interesting number. This number, 998,001, is a very, very special number. In fact, uh, it's a miraculous number. I will explain the miracle about this very number after completing my lesson today, so don't go away. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let me first explain what is longitude. Later on, I will explain what is latitude. Before learning how to find the location of the points on the Earth's surface, it's good we know what is longitude and what is latitude. Longitude is an imaginary line that passes through the two poles, that is the North and the South Pole. So those lines that passes through the North and the South Poles, it is those lines that we call the lines of longitude. They are imaginary lines because we cannot see them on the Earth's surface, but they are there. So a special longitude that we have uh, that has this value zero degree, that very special longitude is called the prime meridian. And it is that very special longitude that divides the Earth into east and west direction. So this very longitude zero degree now divides the Earth into east and west. So right of it is now eastern direction and the left of it is now the western direction. Still on longitudes. It says longitudes ranges from 0 degree to 180 degree west or 0 degree to 180 degree east as you can see in this very drawing. So longitudes are the right of the prime meridian. That is the 0 degree longitude. Those are the right of it. Apart from the angle, which will now range from 0 to 180 degrees, they will have the direction of east attached to them. As you can see here, this very first longitude could be 20 degrees east. The next longitude that you can see here drawn could be 40 degrees east. Another one here, look at it, could be 80 degrees east. And so on, the angle keep increasing up to a maximum of 180 degrees. Similarly, those longitudes at the left of the prime meridian, look at this very first one. It's a longitude at the left of the prime meridian. This longitude could be 20 degree west. Another one could be 40 degree west. You can see as you are moving away from the prime meridian, the angle keeps increasing up to a maximum of 180 degrees. And this 180 degree, either west or east longitude, is the one that completes a cycle together with this prime meridian. That is the longitude at the right at the back of this prime meridian is now either this 180 degree east or 180 degree west. So still on longitude. All longitudes have radii equals to the radius of the earth. That is the radius of any longitude will now be exactly the same as the radius of the earth. So this is just a few among the details as far as longitude is concerned. Let me just move to the next item, which is latitude. So latitude, these are also imaginary lines, but those lines that run east to west. Look at this my globe, that is this my earth. These lines that run north to south are called longitudes. But the other one that run east to west, east to west, east to west, look at them. Those lines, they are called lines of latitude. They are imaginary also because we cannot see them on the Earth's surface. Still on latitudes, it says a special latitude that is zero degree latitude, which we call the equator. It is a very special latitude that divides the Earth into north and south hemispheres. That is, this is your zero degree latitude, which we call the equator. So latitudes at the top of it, 
as you move up here up to this knot will now have value but attached there will now be not and those latitudes at the bottom here will now have a southern direction so this special latitude divides the earth into north and southern direction latitudes have values ranging from 0 to 90 degrees north or 0 to 90 degrees south so if we go back to this you can see even some latitudes numbered this very latitude on top of this zero degree that is the equator could be 20 degree north another one look at it here could be 40 degree north another one here could be 60 degree north you now the angle keep increasing after the latitude at the north pole here which will now be the 90 degree north similarly if you look at the latitude see it down this could be 20 degrees south because it's at the bottom of the equator this could be 40 degrees south the angle keep increasing as you are moving downwards in the south in the direction up to the latitude there at the south pole that latitude at the south pole will now have this maximum value of 90 degrees south so still on latitudes latitudes have very the rare die that is the radius of any latitude will now be different from another latitude if i take a latitude 20 degree north look at it latitude 20 degree north this is 20 degree north it is radius would now be different from the radius of latitude 40 degree north because the width or the perimeter of those latitudes will not be the same as you go up there the radius of those latitudes will now keep reducing and reducing after this very point that is the north pole so the radius of those latitudes will now have different values so this is just a few among details as far as latitude is concerned so let me just move straight away having understood what is longitude and what is latitude we can now learn how to find the locations of points on the earth's surface so let me just move on so location of points on the earth's surface so the location of points on the earth's surface is now usually described by the latitude of that very point followed by the longitude of that very point that is uh, the location of any point on the earth's surface is now described using it is latitude and it is longitude and we usually write latitude first then followed by the longitude let's just have some examples if this is your earth surface you have some points a b c d after this g as points on the earth surface here and look at the longitudes and the latitudes there on that very earth surface and suppose we are asked to find or to write the location of the point a for example and write also the location of the point b let's just do it and see so starting with the point a i want to write it is a location based on this it says the location of any points on the earth surface is now just uh, a matter of writing it is latitude then the, followed by it is longitude so if i take this as a point a on the earth surface this point a if i look at it critically it is on latitude 20 degree north look at the latitude of the point a this line that runs east to west is latitude and the point A happens to be on that very line. So it is now on the latitude 20 degree north. But which longitude? This is the longitude. Remember, longitude runs uh, through the poles in the north and the south pole. So this longitude, look at it. This longitude, the longitude of A, it is now the 60 degree east. Look at it marked here, 60 degree east which means uh, the location of this very point E would now be would now be latitude first followed by longitude so location of the point E would now be 20 degree north then comma 60 degree east this is the location of the point E it is on latitude 20 degree north look at it 20 degree north and on longitude uh, 60 degree east so this is the location of the point e let me move to the next point point b point b if you look at it, it is latitude it is 65 north 
and look at it is longitude it is five degree west so which means the point b will now have uh, this location 65 not look at it again 65 degree north that is this longitude latitude and longitude five degree west look at the five degree west longitude so this is the location of the point b i'll move to the next point c look at the point c first i will now write it is latitude it is on latitude zero degree and uh, longitude 45 degree west look at it this is the point c latitude zero and uh, longitude 45 look at it 45 so the point c will now have uh, location zero degree comma 45 degree west i'll continue next point is the point d look at the point d in the latitude there is 50 knot and uh, the longitude here longitude of d is now 100 degree east look at it look at it so the point d will now have a location 50 knot uh, comma 100 degree east now continue so next is the point e look at the point e this point e is on latitude 30 degree south and uh, longitude 100 degree east so let me write the location of e is now 30 south and 100 east and let me just move f f will now be on the latitude 50 north and longitude 10 degree east so the point f will now have that location 50 north 10 degree east and finally my point g look at the point g is on latitude 20 north and 70 west so that will now be that will now be the location of the point g so this is how we now mark uh, or identify location of points on the earth's surface which is very very vital tool in uh, this main topic longitude and latitude so let's just move and take one more example example it says using the sketch uh, using a sketch uh, that is a sketch of the earth uh, we are to mark the location of those uh, points i uh, have uh, Roman one question point K, which is on latitude 30 degree north and 80 degree east, and another one R have to like that. So solution to this very problem, what we do, we just have a sketch of the earth. When we have that very sketch of the earth, we now draw all those longitudes and latitudes, then we now try to mark those points. So let me just draw my earth. This is just a sketch of the earth. So if I start with this very point K. The point K is on latitude 30 degree north. So I will now draw this latitude. Remember, latitude 30 degree north will now be somewhere above the middle because the middle will now be equal to it is equal to that divides the earth into north and the southern hemisphere. So my 30 degree north will now be somewhere a little above the middle. Let me draw it. This is my latitude 30 degree north somewhere here i'll just draw it remember it's a sketch then i'll now mark this or i'll now draw this uh, longitude uh, 80 degree east longitude 80 degree east so east remember it is the prime meridian that divides the earth into east and west and the right of the prime meridian will now be eastern direction so the longitude i'm going to draw will now be somewhere here by the right of the prime meridian that is right of the middle so this is my longitude 80 degree east so where this longitude crosses the latitude 30 degree north will now be the position of this point k so i'll now mark this very place as my point uh, as my point k so this is the point k so question roman one has now been answered i was able to locate or to mark on the earth surface the position of this point k i'll move to the next point which is r R is on latitude 30 degree north, the same with K, which I have that very latitude already, latitude 30 degree north. But on longitude 10 degree west, look at 10 degree west. So I need to draw this 10 degree west. West will now be somewhere left of the middle. So I'm going to draw my longitude 10 degree west. Let me draw it here. This is my 10 degree west longitude. So where this longitude 10 degree crosses latitude 30 degree north, 
that very point will now be the position of this point R. So I'll now mark my R here. This is the point R, where longitude 10 degree west crosses latitude 30 degree north. So I have marked this very point R. So next is the point L. The point L is on latitude 18 degree south uh, and longitude 10 degree west. So I need to draw this uh, latitude 18 degree south. Remember, southern direction will now be somewhere down of the middle. That is at the bottom of the equator. So I'm going to draw my latitude somewhere here, somewhere at the bottom, 18 degrees south. Let me just draw it. This is now the latitude 18 degrees south to look at it so l is on latitude 18 degrees south and longitude 10 degree west i have longitude 10 degree west already look at it and this is latitude 18 degree south so where the two crosses will now be the point l so this is now the position of the point l on the earth surface that is it is on latitude 18 degree south and uh, longitude 10 degree west so this is the end of this very lesson my dear student i hope with the few examples given you'll be able to write uh, the locations of points on the earth surface thank you for your attention let me just move to the last segment mass is fun and explain what is interesting about that number 998,001. So what is interested about this very number is says dividing one by 998,001. That is 998001. This very large number. If we find it is a reciprocal, that is one divided by that very number. What you now have as the result, you now have all the combinations of two digits numbers starting from 0002999 and in the same order or in that order. That is, you now have all the possible combinations of three-digit number in increasing order, and the result will now contain those numbers, those three-digit numbers in that order. Let's just see what happened. So if I divide one by 998001, if you have a very powerful calculator that can display many digits on the screen, if you now divide this one, you are going to have, uh, this is just the result you are going to have. Uh, this result is not even enough. It have, uh, there are many other digits that are caught up because this number is an irrational number. So the digits there do not terminate. But uh, what we are seeing according to this very property is, is you have all the possible combinations of three digit number that is starting from zero, zero, after this 997, you can see it ended here. If I take this, is 109. So there are many, many, many numbers to come later. But let me just find out whether this is true. So if I should group those numbers, meaning the digits that I can see here displayed, let me group them into three, three digits each. Let me just underline them. So you can see the very first three digit after the decimal, I have zero, zero. Next three digit will now be zero zero one. Next three digit will be zero zero two. Next three digit will be zero zero three. Next digit will be zero zero four. Next digit will be zero zero five. This is really interesting. So you see the numbers, those three digit numbers, as they are in increasing order. This is how exactly they appear in this very result. And you continue getting those three digit number after this nine nine seven. So if I ask you how many three-digit number from this zero to 997, there are many more there in hundreds. And this is really amazing. They are arranged exactly in increasing order of those three-digit number after this uh, 997. This is really, it's not even, it's even beyond amazing. It's even miraculous. Thank you for your attention. We'll see more of this in our subsequent lesson.